There have been many brands and corporate giants that have made a huge presence in the marketing world and disappeared like the dust in the wind. It's crazy to think that a company that is doing so well could never go out of business without a masterstroke. Here's a list of a few brands that tasted like failures and the reasons behind them. For most people, these are lessons to pick up. And for others, it's an interesting read. However, you would be shocked at how quickly you forget these popular brands. Before we proceed, if you are new to this channel, this is where we bring you the best brand reviews and what makes them special. So feel free to like this video and subscribe. You probably remember some of the most popular phone brands of the 20th century. BlackBerry was one such brand that topped the smartphone market during its time. The brand faced severe failure once Apple and Google stepped up their game with better phones. They explored better ways to make phones bigger, faster, and smarter with larger phone screens and better user interfaces to attract the crowd. BlackBerry was a favorite amongst office owners, businessmen, and women. It was the only smartphone during its time to be in its class. However, its failure came because the brand spent too much time advancing the security features of the phone, while the other tech giants banked on this opportunity to overtake the next generation of smartphones. Number one lesson is to evolve with the present times. BlackBerry was the only phone of its kind that helped with consumers' work on the go. Worried about failure and playing defense in a fast, transforming world, Apple's iPhone and other Android phones invaded the market with new technologies, while BlackBerry was left in the shadows as Apple and other phone companies spent their time exploring next-generation technologies. Companies like Nokia and Motorola went through a similar run of failure and lost the battle for the phone market. With the rise of digital technologies and mobile software systems, the newer phones from Samsung and Apple took the market by surprise with their stunning software systems that catered to the present technologies and swept the market away from Nokia, BlackBerry, and Motorola. Something to learn here is to think long-term and not settle for what you already have, which is something that you'll see common among most of the examples mentioned below. Number two is to be bold and take risks. Kodak, once the world's biggest film company that started in 1888, went through bankruptcy in 2012. You would wonder how a company that stayed alive and kicking for over a century could have such a disastrous end. Well, we will answer that question in just a bit. However, here are some interesting facts. Kodak was way ahead of its time when it introduced its first digital camera in 1975. However, the first digital camera that was made available to the public came about in the 1990s. You would be surprised to know that it wasn't Kodak that introduced it, though. Logitech and Apple came out with digital cameras that were available commercially to the public. Another interesting fact is that a photo sharing site called Ophoto, introduced in 1999, was acquired by the film giant Kodak in 2001. It is believed that Avoto could have been the predecessor of apps like Google Photos or Instagram. However, the platform wasn't used to its full potential and settled for its basic functions. Kodak had two huge opportunities to dominate the digital world. Yet it stayed under wraps out of fear that the film business that had been running for nearly a century would come to an end. Sometimes it is better to take the risk and explore the next big thing than to be complacent and comfortable in whatever we do. If Kodak had taken those big leaps, they would have probably been one of the biggest technological giants in today's digital world. Sadly, today it is a company that is thriving to return to take its throne again, and who knows? They might just come out on top with a bang. But then again, that's only possible if they have an act up their sleeve for current trends or futuristic technology. Number three is to adapt to customers' needs and innovate products. General Motors, popularly known as GM, was one of the biggest automobile parts manufacturers. Founded almost a century ago in 1908, it was the largest automobile manufacturer from 1932 through 2007. GEM was very well known for manufacturing automobile parts and for its network of suppliers and distributors. They marketed banking services with its vehicle production network, which spanned more than 37 nations. 
It was this pioneering business that developed the anti-lock braking system, ABS, currently standard on all vehicles. It was also a brand company the first to introduce hybrid cars, first car manufacturer to include turn signals inside their cars. Meanwhile, after being a giant in the automobile industry, General Motors filed bankruptcy in 2009. The move became a reality because of the failure to innovate products and explore technologies. Some say that the leadership played a major role in its failure, as they were more concerned with making profits than improving the products or envisioning newer technologies. GM's assets and famous branding were later purchased by the General Motors company. From GM's lesson, we learn that leadership plays a key role in the functioning and envisioning of the brand. If a brand is not led to listen and innovate to meet the needs of the world, failure is just a step away. Meanwhile, Tesla demonstrated early innovation in the electric car segment. Lesson number four is to never underestimate the competition. Remember the times when TV, VCRs, and DV players were a major source of entertainment? Just before the turn of the digital storage system and cloud storage became a reality, CDs, DVD, and V cars were the hallmark of home cinemas. You could just walk into a video rental store and watch the latest movies at the comfort of your home. Blockbuster was one such video and games rental service which was popular in the US. Founded in the year 1985, it was one of the iconic brands in the space of video rental services with almost 85,000 employees worldwide and 9,094 stores. In 2000, a well-known live streaming brand wanted to sell its firm for 15 US and approached Blockbuster. The Blockbuster CEO turned down the offer calling it a small niche business. However, in a decade's time, Blockbuster filed for bankruptcy due to its inability to adapt to the digital world. Later, Netflix, the company that made an offer to Blockbuster, stood the test of time and prided itself on an evaluation of $8.8 .8 billion today. Perhaps things would have been different for Blockbuster if they had adapted to the digital world or seen potential in Netflix's products. Understanding your competitors, their products, and advancing with the world is key to any successful business. Such has been the story of Blockbuster Video Rental Services. The last but not the least is to always leave a story. We are sure you'll remember Concorde. The supersonic plane was, during its time, the only commercially flying plane that covered long distances and half the time of a normal plane. This brand was a luxury in some sense and was set as a class apart, with the enormous amounts of jet fuel it required to fly at great speeds. The aircraft was known to attract expats, businessmen, and women. The British, French supersonic aircraft had to bid farewell to aerospace for several reasons. One of the major setbacks was the crash in Paris in July 2000, which killed all 109 on board due to a runway accident. This incident thoroughly stirred fear in people. The fear of flying increased and the number of passengers decreased. In addition, the 9-11 incident played a huge role in provoking fear again. And as the number of passengers choosing to fly kept decreasing, the maintenance costs were increasing due to the size of the aircraft. The British, French aircraft were pulled out of service in 2003. For Concorde that one fatal accident gripped the hearts of many with fear. And adding to that, the maintenance costs became a major impediment to its operation. Though there are talks to revive the supersonic aircraft, we are not sure if we'll ever fly the Concordia again. Yet, we know that it will always be known as the king of the air. I hope this list was helpful for you. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share with whoever might need these lessons. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified when we drop our next video.